now we're going into part four of the ESOL uh, information for you. And we've just finished talking about how just because they're in ESOL doesn't mean they can't be in other special programs such as um, special education or gifted education. And the English learners are considered tier four only in ESOL for language acquisition. In all other areas, they should be treated as are all other students beginning on tier one, then using the response to intervention process to evaluate how to best meet their needs if problems arise. The fact that an English learner has a disability does not replace the need for language assistance. The plan for continuing to provide language support through ESOL should be written in the student's individual education plan. In most instances, English learners should be duly served through both programs. English learners must be assured of equitable practices in the recognition and development of giftedness. Three areas tend to limit the presence of English learners in gifted and talented programs. Attitudes about the English, English learners' abilities due to language and cultural differences, assessment measures that are skewed against English learners due to language differences, and accommodations within gifted programs which do not allow for their different needs. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the WIDA website and look at some of the resources you can access on the site. First you log in, and then you'll see Standards and Instruction, English Language Proficiency. You can search the ELP Standards, Can Do Descriptors, uh, all of these things here for you to discover. Okay, right here, you're going to have the consortium's English language proficiency standards and what they, um, what they encompass. And over here, you're, gonna, you're going to be able to find um, uh, PDFs on these standards, which I'll, I'll also be posting on our website in Blackboard but you can find them there. Here's a draft of the 2012 standards, um, up and coming. Okay, uh, this is really uh, also very, um, very helpful when you can go in here, and it's not completely developed yet, but you can go in here and find resources according to grade level, according to the framework or the uh, English language proficiency standard, language domain, you can go ahead and put these in here and search for these. Now, they haven't been fully developed, but they're um, currently working um, to add more, um, more resources here. Also, these can-do descriptors by grade level, uh, that's where you'll find them right here on the WIDA site. And the test forms, you can download the test forms, all grade levels, as you can see, kindergarten, all the way to 12th grade in here. Uh, this, the WAP score calculator is in here. Okay, and this concludes our first um, PowerPoint, courtesy of Louisa Melton from Spalding County Schools. And I um, hope this has been helpful to you and that you get a chance to go through those uh, resources on the WIDA site to help you with your students. Thank you and bye-bye.